Hi guys, welcome back! Uh, this is episode 2 of my Skyblock Expert Edition Super Kaja Fragilistic Gatsbyala Infinity FTB Skyblock of some description. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, in the last episode, we set up this thing. We got some string going. Uh, I've got a good bit string going. Um, and that's ready to go there. Let's just quickly grab that down while we're here. And uh, so today we want to automate the cobble gen. Simple enough. Should be simple enough anyway. I've got a small bit of resources and once we, you know, get the cobble gen automated then we can get compressed hammers and get even more resources. And it should be good stuff. Uh, but let's just, you know, plant another one of these anyway. Although I think I'm starting to run out of actual saplings. Ah no, we're good. We're good. Boom. And let's grab some of these chaps. Boom. Okay. So, there's a couple of different breakers. Uh, there's Project Red one, there's Open Blocks one. This one requires power, so no thanks. And these aren't one. But, um, we're gonna try out this one because it's cheaper than this one by a bit. I know for a fact this one works because I used it in, in a, just my own playthrough. Um, but, uh, let's just give this a, a go. So we need two of these, two of these, and we're gonna need some... Uh, two, three, four. That should be enough for now. Except that it's nowhere near enough for now. So, um, oh crap, broke something back there. Uh, no, there we go. Seven, four, I need two more. Okay, so we need a piston and we need a pickaxe redstone this these uh, that's not the right way around these two changed Okay, we're gonna need a clock as well. I think the extra utilities one is probably the easiest one to make. Uh, another four of these. Oh, do I have enough redstone? Two. Three. Four. And I've broken down the coal into this uncompressed coal, which only has a 200 burn time which is pretty cool uh, it means one of these will smelt one of these which is pretty cool actually I like that so I need five redstone I hope I have enough I had you five and one of these one two three four and just get this redstone I don't think I need the uh, pneumatic tubes. Um, it's been a long time since I've used the uh, Project Red stuff. And I've just realized, hang on, there's blue stuff. Is there Project Blue as well? No. Um. And 
right, let's just put this piece of dirt here for now so I can push this. Oh yeah, whoops. That was a total mistake. Haha. <laughs> oh, silly me. Okay, and let's just shove that in there. Oh, we can use that actually. There we go. Let's come on this side. And we should be able to. Oh, there's cobblestone here. Nice. We should be able to hit this in here. Oh, it goes the other way, does it? Yeah, no, that's it. And then we're going to need a chest as well, I think, to shove that into. Again, I'm not sure if this is going to need pneumatic tubing or not. We'll put this stuff back and we'll put the clock up here. And we're good. Cool. So there we go. Very simple. Easy, easy stuff. Cool, so now we're going to have a supply of cobblestone. Um, which means I can probably expand out this thing a bit more, which will be nice. Let's see if there's anything else good we can know. Okay. So what we want to do now is get ourselves some more trees probably, actually. We need nine. Yeah, that's enough, actually. And these go this way. And we can put these all together. And then we can also do these. And we're going to need a lot more actually. Because these need, oh, there are only four. Sweet. And then that there, and we have a mesh now that we're probably not going to be using. Oh no, we'll use them in Thumbcraft and stuff. This should be okay. And we need some more trunks. Uh, let's just crop these with the crook. we need it and I will need just this and this and boom we have a heavy oak sieve now this is where stuff gets interesting Okay, let's grab ourselves a stack of cobble. Cool. And then we can use the compressed hammer to turn this compressed cobblestone. Oh, wow. What the hell did I just do? into lots of gravel. I wonder if um, if we had a... Uh, if we had an activator and used the chicken stick, would we be able to just get gravel straight away? Be interesting to know. Cool. Let's get the gravel and of this using the heavy oak sieve. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff we get from this thing. It's fantastic. All the stuff. So much quicker resource gathering now. So we can leave the uh, this go and that's fine over there. But now look at all this stuff we're gathering. Still no diamonds. Yeah, we get diamonds from here. We'll grab 
gravel diamonds, yeah. Okay, so we'll just let this go, uh, sieve it down, and repeat. Um, I'll also expand out this area a bit, and uh, light it up a bit, and then I'll come back in a second. Welcome back! Uh, I've spent just a while now extending out the uh, platform here, it's nice and big. It's fully lit up as well, which is good. Um, I have some tree stoppers up there to stop me getting mega trees and uh, I've got one more dirt here that I wanted to put in here. Yeah. I should have probably put that up while I was over there. Uh, seven and one. Well, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll put one of these here, one of these here. We'll go back down to put this here and remove this. Excellent. And then we can put another tree in there. So that will be some trees growing there, uh, just naturally. The next thing we want to look at probably is getting uh, some mob drops going. Like just a simple mob farm out this way or this way or this way or some way should be able to do us enough just to get, you know, some ender pearls and that sort of jazz. Um, but what we really need to start working on now is we need... bucket to get the bucket we need the forge hammer to get the forge hammer we have iron uh, but we need the sticks the impregnated sticks or whatever it is uh, they require a coke oven which requires clay and to get clay we need to put water in bucket or uh, barrels put water in barrels we need to use bottles um, and it needs four bottles for each one of these and then we put the dust in uh, so what we can do is get a ton of resources, like a ton, just just tons. Um, and I'm gonna probably do one stack down into dust as well, just to um, get ourselves going. So Uh, that should be enough, sure. Uh, let me just hammer this stuff out and uh, we'll come back in just a second. Hopefully with a pile of dust and a pile of resources. Okay, so I got myself a pretty much a stack of dust there. Um, we'll be able to use that to um, make some clay and that sort of jazz. So what we want to do now, I don't know if what we want to do, do we want to go straight to the coke oven? Um, let's maybe go ahead and do the mob farm, I think. It's probably the easiest, because we're going to make it simply enough. And, um... Sweet. Okay, um, let's build out some stuff here. And we need more torches probably as well. And we want to make some more stone slabs just to make it look good. So let's go out this way or this way? Probably be around here. I'd say we want to go out this way. Yeah. So what's the spawning radius again? 20. I can never remember the spawning radius. 20 something rather. 
Actually, let me look up the spawning radius because I'll, I don't want to make this wrong. Okay, guys, so I've started putting together this thing. Um, I mean, it's not super big, but uh, we'll be able to smash in mobs and stuff from in here. Um, so that should be good. Uh, let's just put another torch in here as well, just to brighten it up. Yeah, so we should be able to convert this easy enough at a later stage using fans or something like that. And uh, it should be far enough away. Uh, it should need to be 24 blocks away only. So um, that should be okay. Sorry, I just, every time I see a tree, I have to go chop it down just because. <laughs> Right, so let's start building this thing up. I need a lot more stone. Um, and chisel. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Sun is setting, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I'll need more slabs as well. Yeah, later. Okay. So, what we want to do is come out here, and we're going to put a slab on this level, I think. We're going to go up three high. And probably cap it with slabs. I don't really want to cap it with slabs. I want to cap it with stone because sometimes slabs don't work very well. But we do want to do three so we get endermen. I'm gonna take out this one. So we're gonna put a slab here. So we should be able to walk under and then hit things in there and then stuff should be able to come out. But uh, yeah, okay. So we just have to build this up. Easy enough and yeah. So this should spawn stuff in here. Um, I might put some walls around here actually, just because stuff. <laughs> falling off. Me and Skyblocks, we have a thing about falling off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, I really need to build, make the builder's wand as well, which is actually quite easy. It's just a stack of um, 18 diamonds and 4 steel. So once I get the uh, blast furnace up, we should be able to make it. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep quickly so stuff doesn't spawn. Uh, there shouldn't actually be any spawning spots. Oh, we should be okay. Oh, unless they're up there. They are. Oh, quick. Let's go sleep. Now oh, we're good. Nothing spawned. Let's get this stone that I'm making into slabs. And we'll grab one more. Yes. Boom. Nice. Okay, so we're almost finished here. Uh, this, like normally I would do a normal tower spawner, but like there shouldn't be any need to do one, um, really, and this. Hmm, okay. Let's cap this off. And uh, we'll probably just put a torch up here. Um, There. Here.
it should be fine there yeah grand okay so let's jump down here get rid of this block and we just need to finish off these slabs around the edge and that will be it okay guys so i'm gonna need a sword of some description obviously uh i just normally go with the normal sword i don't know which one that is uh this this is a dagger but no sword and the white guard Grand. Uh, we'll make something out of something out of something. We can probably make the guard out of wood, the handle out of wood, and we have some flint. That stone, uh, we can make it out of stone. Unless we probably can't actually make it out of stone, it's probably only gonna be. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay. White guard cannot be made out of stone as well maybe yeah stone and uh let me just put this somewhere safe um oh yeah there we go that's safe enough Ooh, tree um <laughs> okay cool and then we need to just make the uh Boom. Cool. Right. Let's go knock out these torches. Yes. Done. And boom. Cool. So now this is lots of spawny. There we go. Cool. So now stuff should start spawning in there uh, pretty quickly, I hope. Um, I'm not sure if I'm far enough away, but I'm just going to grab this tree anyway, because trees. <gasps> totally into trees. Yeah, look at that. Already crammed full. So let's go get some mob drops. There's bats in there as well. Ugh. Oh, and there's a... Uh... Oh, crap. Stuff explodes. Oh, we don't want that. Right, so we're going to have to deal with exploding stuff. I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Um, uh, let's just brighten it up though first because... Yeah. Uh, did I get the ender pearl? No. I don't even need the ender pearls. I just always love to have ender pearls, you know? <laughs> Right, so, creepers. We got a miniature red heart, though. Um, and we got some gunpowder. But we don't actually need the gunpowder, do we? Do we? Do we? We do. We, we're going to need it for the blast furnace. That's what we need it for. Okay, let me repair this. And, um... Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it there for the moment. I actually, uh, I did manage, to, I went back and just did one more round there and I picked up an ender pearl, uh, some skulls and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty good. So it's working grand. Uh, I'm getting lots of bats. I suspect if I put uh, half slabs at the top instead of full blocks, I won't get the bats. So I might change those out. Uh, but yeah, okay, uh, we'll leave it there for now and I will see you later.